Hello, I'm Miles Hassel. I practice internal medicine and lifestyle medicine at Providence St. Vincent Hospital and Medical Center in Portland, Oregon. Wanted to talk a little bit about inflammation and in the same context, immunity, because these are two very, very difficult uh, concepts to, to separate. Inflammation is a common term that people use and they usually use it as a negative. I submit that inflammation is an important positive. Inflammation is your fundamental to your body's healing response. And most of the time when something happens to your body, then inflammation comes in, it heals that area, and the inflammation subsides. This is fundamental to your immune response. However, if your immune response can't overcome whatever it is that's bothering your, your body, then that's when you get this chronic inflammation that is debilitating and associated with most diseases. Heart disease, diabetes, cancers are all associated with increased inflammatory load. What lowers inflammation in terms of markers? First of all, the Mediterranean omnivorous diet. The next thing to think about are whole grains. True whole grains are associated with less inflammation, whereas highly refined grains like white flour and of course sugars are associated with more inflammation. So whole grains are good, refined grains bad. That's a very, very simple rule of, of thumb anyway. Nuts lower inflammation. Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil lowers inflammation. Caffeine, so coffee and tea lower inflammation. And surprisingly enough, moderate alcohol consumption lowers inflammation. The big one is weight loss. If you're carrying extra weight around your middle, your primary anti-inflammatory step is to lose that weight around the middle. And finally, exercise. Exercise is an incredible tool. As pro-immunity and anti-inflammatory, then exercise and building muscle mass are critical. Now, there is such a thing as too much exercise. If you, for example, are running more than about 15 or 20 or 25 miles a week, that there's different, different uh, people have different opinions on this and different data, then there is a point somewhere in that region where exercise is probably pro-inflammatory. But very few of us have to worry about that. If you're getting a 30 or 60 minute brisk walk a day, maybe some upper body exercise in some form, then those are important anti-inflammatory tools as well. So remember, for reducing your inflammation, improving your immune response, no matter what your disease process is, we want to see a whole food Mediterranean style diet, some dairy, whole grains, some, some uh, caffeine in the form of tea and coffee, not in terms of highly sweetened uh, caffeine enhanced beverages, uh, olive oil, nuts, exercise, and especially keeping your weight down. The things to avoid uh, include highly refined grains like white flour and white rice and refined sugars of all types no matter what the label if your sugar is some special organic cane sugar harvested by trolls under the midnight moon it's still bad for you so I hope you'll you'll um, avoid highly restrictive diets that do not have evidence for for reducing inflammation and stick to the basics that even our grandmother could tell us thank you